الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا. This is Imam Hanif. I wanted to take some time to explain the workings of the Hans Ver Dictionary, which is the dictionary of choice for our accessible Arabic classes. And as we use that dictionary, it's important to know how the dictionary is set up and how to get the most out of it. There are some students who have expressed their difficulty in navigating through the dictionary. So I've set up a series of videos, inshallah, that will help a student, whether in the accessible Arabic classes or any Arabic class, to be able to better navigate their way, or his or her way, excuse me, through the hands fair dictionary all right now the first thing that's going to be important for an individual to do is to understand the intention of the author and to know where the author is coming from if we want to know how things are set up the first thing that we should do is go to the actual author of the book because maybe he or she may give insight into how they've actually arranged, he or she has arranged the book and what kind of assumptions he or she might have. So <clears throat> we'll begin here. He says the heavy vertical stroke, which is this line, and we'll explain that a little bit later, but I just want you to notice it here because it'll explain what something that he says. The heavy vertical stroke terminates the definition under an entry. Okay, so he's telling us here that whenever we see this line here, that means the definition has stopped. There's no definition beyond this point. It is followed by phrases, idioms, and sentences which illustrate the phraseological and syntactic use of that entry. So he's going to give us some insight into different ways the word might be used, uh, how the word might be placed in a sentence or in a phrase or so on. These did not have to be transcribed in full because it has been necessary to assume an elementary knowledge of Arabic morphology and syntax on the part of the user. So here, the author is saying, if you want to benefit from my book, you have to have a basic you have to have some basic knowledge of Arabic morphology. And that's something we've been talking about in our classes, which is that the most Arabic words are based upon the three-letter root of the Arabic verb. And a lot of times, it's just about learning different forms that that verb or that fi'l undergoes in order to change into an ism, which we will roughly translate as a noun. So what he's saying here is that, for example, whenever you see this line and he brings you uh, something, he brings you like a phrase or a sentence or something of that nature, he will not transcribe, he will not write the English letters for that whole phrase. He'll only write it maybe for the first part, if anything. So here it says, Fanus Sihri. So he's, he's transcribed for you, Fanus, but he hasn't transcribed Sihri because he already gave you that at the beginning. You should all, he's assuming that you already know how to do that. All right? So he's just, we, we really want this section here because he tells you in order to use his dictionary, you have to have a basic knowledge of Arabic morphology, which goes back to those three letter root verbs that we've been talking about. He says, without which, it is not possible to use a dictionary arranged according to roots. So again, he gives you insight here, and this can be found on page Roman, Roman numeral 14. So the XIV, page XIV, which is before the actual dictionary, the introduction to the dictionary. He's telling you his dictionary is arranged according to the roots of the verbs which we said are three letters, and we'll talk a little bit about how to get to there. Consequently, no transcription is given after the vertical stroke for, and then he'll go into detail about that, which you can read on your own. The idea here is that the only way you're going to be able to use this dictionary is if you know those root verbs. All right, so stay tuned for part two.